from Tenke Fungurumu in the Katanga. Now, I've, I've encountered a few of these pieces, uh, still a little bit of a baffler. The baffler is the, the dark, almost reddish to, to black material, which uh, typically I'd say is heterogeneous. but when we're looking on a cross-section at this material, you'll find this little sprays of needles ending up in botroids. Here's a pretty good example. Let me just zoom in on that section. That appears botryoidal, but on a cross-section, You'll find it's little needles, which is quite typical of the girth height. Other associations here we have on this matrix, we have Krasakola, and then lovely patterned vugs of the, the Krasakola coated with a layer of druzy quartz. Also some patterning in the matrix. Aesthetically quite appealing. There's a, there's a pale bluishness to it. So I'm not sure if this is caused by, um, the, the Krasa color, which is a possibility, there's also a little vug there, but it could also be other minerals like your Batkenbachat, um, known from Tenke from Gurumu. Um, but it's always very difficult, the IDs on Congolese material, especially if it's relatively new. It's now uh, June 2022. And this material, I think I may have got it about a month ago. So this would have been from May 2022. Um, it's the first time I encountered it or I saw it from uh, Tenke from Gurumu. A, a, a site I've, I've adopted quite an interest in because of the lovely uh, colors and the lovely formations which go from here. There's a little druzy vug. There's another druzy vug up there. And of course, this... this uh, 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 as is, it's a little bit overexposed on the on the camera, as you see now. Even on my still pictures, I struggle to formulate it. But there's a nice open section there, which would uh, most likely girthite.